Alright, so today we are going through another tutorial. Um, this one will teach you how to put together a photo collage. You'll go to create. After you open up all your photos that you want to use, up to I think 22 or something, hit photo collage under create. It's to the side once you open it. You can select your size of photos you want to use or how big you want them to be. I'm going to use 8, five, eight by 5, 8 and a half by 11 inches, sorry. Um, you just choose a theme. There's pre-installed ones on Photoshop 6 and 7. And you just pick one. There's a lot of them. And then whatever you think is good for your pictures, I'm going to use this one. And we'll go down. We're going to choose a layout. There's like 1 to 22, I think. The one, the biggest one is 22, I think. It's right there. And then 2, and then you just scan over them, and it'll tell you how much it'll hold and whatnot. I'm use that one, and once you hit done, underneath that, it'll put together your collage for you with the pictures you already have opened in Photoshop. Um, then you can resize and rotate all you want. You can flip them around. Do all the normal stuff you usually do. With pictures. So you can make them bigger, smaller. Rotate them. Once you get them situated, you just click the little checkbox on each, f on each picture so that you can move on to the next one. We're doing a uh, kind of a woodsy scene. Kind of a natural, na na nature fall. Um, theme. Once you get them all situated and you want to make them whatever size you want to make them, you can start adding backgrounds and layouts and filters of all types. I'll show you how to do that a little later. It's in our art artwork. You can go under there. You can select from the millions of things I got in there. I'm just going to use a regular photo frame. That one probably isn't good because the colors are too similar. So, I think maybe we'll put it on a different one. Just click your picture and then click what you want to, what, what kind of frame you want to put on it. And then hit apply. And it'll put it on there for you. And then you select what it, whichever one you want. Hit apply. And then voila. So we're good. We got them all framed up. It looks a little better than three pictures on just a white background, which we're going to take out here of next. Um, maybe we should go. All these little icons up here, they do different things. You can use all the little effects. That's, that's what they are. Is they're just icons for different effects for all your pictures in your collage. And I just put on a background that quick. That was that simple. And then all these different things you can do to these foot to your collage. Collage. Um through these effects because they're kind of cool. They're bevel edges and raised edges. You can, well, you can't really see them because the frames are on there. But I'll take one of them off. OK. 
get rid of that frame. Clear frame. Goodbye. Now you can see the different effects on that photo that you can do. Well, I can anyway. It, you can try them out. They're pretty cool. Um, let's see. Go through all these. There's a drop down menu and you can select all the different themes and whatnot. Hit apply and find out what you like and what you don't like for whatever picture you're doing, whatever collage you're trying to make. The woods are burning. I'm narrating this after I edited the, the actual video footage and had to shorten the video because of YouTube's 10 minute requirement and then I ended up shortening it a little bit more at the end of it so now we're going to put effects in there little graphic effects That's, you can find that in those little icons up there a little heart and T for text and graphics um, I'm going to add a little effects to, to make it kind of three-dimensional or hopefully not too cluttered but makes it spiff it up a little bit more you can even put them on your pictures which we'll do in a minute now I have a butterfly on my picture Resize it so it looks normal. Oh, it's way back there in the back. Cool, huh? You can print these out and put them wherever you want. Save them as JPEG or whatever. kind of blends too well. Put it over here and then up oh, still blending. There. You can barely see that in there, but that's good. That's what it looks like. It's pretty nice. Good colors. And then save as and then you can save it as JPEG. Thanks for watching. I always change the file format and it's that simple. You'll have a collage in seconds. Good luck. Save it as a large file size or whatever file size you want to save it as. Thanks for watching.